Welcome to another tutorial on Easy Worship 2009 brought to you by WorshipMediumPro.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about codecs. And installing this special K Lite codec will allow you to play H264, which is also MOV or MPEG 4 encoding, as well as MPEG 2. The reason why these are important to play is because they have a very high resolution and also a compressed image so that you can play uh, HD backgrounds or uh, mini movies at a higher resolution on your screen projection through Easy Worship. It also works great with just all the other common motion backgrounds out there. It's just a way to maintain quality whereas MPEG is fine but MPEG reduces the quality greatly due to its compression algorithms. It's just a rather old encoder so we're gonna we're gonna install this so that we can we can play back the latest uh, encodings on the H264 okay so this is a codec that we're gonna install now the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna browse over to this URL here which I'm gonna supply as a supplemental URL on the page that this video is on so just look for that and then once you get there make sure you don't click on this link because this is actually a Google AdSense link link we want to scroll down and click on one of these links here. So we're going to click on, I don't know, probably just, I'm just going to randomly pick one of these. These are all fine as long as they say dir direct link that they're fine. So I'm going to save it and you'll notice that I already have it saved here. So I'm going to cancel saving it because I do have it saved. And now let's go to the folder where I have it saved here. I just saved it to my downloads and I'm going to go through the installation process. I'm going to say yes and we're going to continue. Now it's important that you select profile number eight, lots of stuff without the player. And we're going to step through here a couple of settings. We're going to verify all of our settings are correct because there are some modifications that we have to do here. The first one being H264. So let's scroll down here to H264 and as you see it's already selected the FF uh, D show. Now the reason why is because I have already installed this prior so my settings are going to remain the same. They're going to be saved here so that's good. At least I hope they are. If they're not that's great. I'll just make the changes right now. But um, I believe by default it says use system default. So you want to you want to make sure you're choosing FFD show. The next thing we're going to take a look at here is uh, MPEG-2. So MPEG-2, we want to, oh, and here we go, it's not selected. So we want to be able to support MPEG-2, and we're gonna do Gabist for uh, MPEG-2, and we're gonna scroll down here and take a look at our uh, splitters. So let me get down to the splitter area here. There's a couple of major ones that we want to process. Here we go. Okay, so the first one here is uh, the Matroska splitter. We want to make sure we're doing Gabist for that. Uh, also the MPEG-4, if you haven't guessed it yet, Gabist for that. And Gabist for the AUG splitter. And the last one, we should have the last one, is our MPEG. We want to make sure we're doing Gabist as well. So I'm going to uncheck the Haley and just do uh, Gabist. Okay, so that's it. Those are our settings. I'm going to click on Next. And uh, there's not really anything I have to do here, so I'm just going to leave this how it is. Uh, this is checked by default, so you can just choose to uncheck that. All right, and then we can continue on here. And then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that for Windows Player so you can preview these MOVs that you do download from media stores. You can preview them in your Windows Media Player, so we want to check that box. Uh, just keep it how it is, uh, default here. Nothing to change here as well. Just hit Next. Um, keep stereo the same. There's really nothing you need to um, change there. And then, oh, I have to close my Internet Explorer, of course, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back here and close this out close all tabs okay we'll do that again now it's going to do the full installation now we're not done because there's two more things we need to do and this is essential for windows 7 so we've just pretty much completed everything for uh windows um like a windows xp or windows vista except for one more piece this is the last piece we need to do for uh, vista and xp so we're going to go here 
and we need to go to another link I'm going to provide. This is the FF uh, D Show settings. And this is from Easy Worship, so we're going to go there, and uh, it's right. I just have it in my history here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on um, Run because it's a pretty small. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do Run. We're going to do it uh, save. My apologies. You do have to save this. So I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. It's going to tell me I already have one there. That's great. I'm going to open the folder. And this is important. This is important mainly for Vista and Windows 7. You got to right click on it and run as administrator. Okay. So you got to do that. And it's going to tell you, you know, some, I, letting you know that it's making some changes to the registry, which is essential for um, this kind of uh, configuration that we're doing in Easy Worship. Okay, so the changes have been made. And now we have, uh, we're done here. Press any key to continue. It just closes out the window. So now we've made some modifications in the Easy Worship uh, registry so that it can work with FFD Show. And, um, yeah, go ahead and say uh, this program is installed correctly. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do here is we need to install a tweaker. As you can see, I already have it downloaded here, um, but let's just go to where this URL is and we'll take a look at it. Okay. This is the tweaker. Uh, and this tweaker is needed for Windows 7 only. So this step is only for Windows 7. So we're going to again scroll down because this is all Google AdSense stuff here. So we're going to end up some other site. Just click on one of these mirror sites here and you'll be able to download that, uh, that tweaker. So I'm going to close out my browser because I don't need that anymore. And I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to browse to my tweaker and I'm going to install it. I'm going to say run. And now there are a few settings that we're going to do here. I'm going to say yes. And we want to make sure that our H264 is FFD show. We want to make sure our MPEG4 is the um, FFD show. And we want to make sure that MPEG2 is Gabist. All right. And that's all we need to do. The rest of these can remain the same. We're going to hit apply. And then, okay. So it says have they been applied successfully. So that's it. Voila. We're done. Now let's take a look at our end results. So what we have done is we've installed the K-Lite codec, we've installed the ffdshowsettings.exe from Easy Worship, we've made some some changes to our our K-Lite codec, and then for Windows 7, so that was all Windows Vista and XP. For Windows 7, we needed to do one additional thing: was download that tweaker and make those appropriate appropriate changes there. And now let's fire up Easy Worship and take a look at it. Okay, Easy Worship's fired up. I'm going to turn off live mode here. And we're going to do um, Amazing Grace. We'll throw that up there. And I do already have, I think I have one. Yeah, okay, so here is a MOV. As you can see, I hover over the movie and you see a .mov file. The rest of these are MPEGs, as you can tell. So this is our only MOV for this tutorial here. So I'm going to drop that on there. All right, now I have that done. Let's take a look at the um, the show here. So I'm going to hit go live, okay? And I'm going to click my live button. If you notice already in the background here, you start to see the animation take place, but I'm going to minimize this. And there you go. So it's all on one screen because I'm doing this training from one a one screen recording. So I hope that was really informative. If you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to us, support at worshipmediapro.com. And also make sure you take a look at all the links that we're providing to the web pages that we went to during this tutorial. Thanks so much. God bless.